there's nobody driving. Really. <laughs> well, no, I know there is, but... Did you see those two people up in there? There were two people in there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even see that. Alright, Magic Kingdom Night, our one and only uh, Magic Kingdom Night, because we've, we've just kind of decided that the fireworks are a bit of a hassle to get out from. So we're just, but we're just going to go in and do some, you know, ride some rides, and we have a fast pass for the Jungle Cruise, and we're just going to ride some, ride some things, and, um, no, you're not in this, I, I'm, I'm, I'm recording myself. Anyway, so we're going to go in and do a few rides, and, uh, you know, we're, we're going to leave before the fireworks are done, just to beat the traffic, so. All right. Por favor, Martin, let's correct See, we got the whole friggin' monorail, though. Well, not the whole one, but well, well, the entire car to ourselves, see? There's nobody over there. There's Mom. There's Reagan. Hi, Reagan. There's Dad. Hi, Dad. And nobody there. See? It's just, just us. Us and only us. Bye, contemporary. We got a fast pass to the jungle cruise, and Dad has agreed not to tell, <laughs> at the request of Mom, not to tell any of the jokes before the guide does. <laughs> hey, I told him I rather appreciate his his uh, jungle cruise knowledge. See, Clay, Clay, and I did an email. Oh, this way. He screwed up. Clay and I are too far apart. <laughs> Watch your head, watch your step in, on whichever you prefer. Um, it's a nicer python <laughs> though. It does sometimes develop crushes on people wearing blue shirts. So if that's you, I'm so sorry to smother in relationship. Just over there guys, we do have my camp. Now, we were going to stop by and grab some things for the journey, but my friends are discussing monkey business. But look what they did to my truck. They painted it blue. I said red. That's fine. I'll get over it. Guys, we are now on the longest river in the world though. The Nile. Now, this river does go on for Niles and Niles, and Niles and Niles. Oh. And if you don't believe me, you are in denial. denial. Disbelief. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, guys, just over there, you will see Jim. Jim is the second scariest elephant in the world. Everyone say, hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. Jim's a great guy. He doesn't forget anyone. But to your right here, that is the scariest elephant in the world, and that is Jim's mother-in-law. <laughs> She's so mean. Guys, just over here we do have a sandstone rock formation, a boulder attraction at the Jungle Cruise. Don't you take it for granted. I sure think it's rocks. Alright guys, we're now in the African Belt, home to all of these animals. You have those giraffes there in the back, those jewildebeest right there, those ja impalas, the jazebras, some ja vultures just right there. And of course the Jamayans. Oh look, they're teaching us the first law of the jungle. Don't be a jazebra. That jazebra's just sleeping, you know? That's how jazebras sleep nowadays, on their sides with their necks kind of bent. Surrounded by Jamayans. Yeah. She's fine, she's just dead, tired, dead tired. Just over there guys, you will see the Jungle Cruise Band. Now, they came out here looking for a new drum, but they did find a new horn. Uh, I tried to warn them. I said rhinos can weigh up to about two tons and run as fast as a horse can. They didn't believe me, but we'll probably get that point in the end. Oh. Alright guys, I know what all of you are thinking right now. We are on a boat. There is a roof over most of us. There's no possible way we could get wet, right? Wrong. Schweitzer Falls just ahead is here to make sure all of you get as wet as possible. Named after the Jungle Navigation Company founder, Dr. Albert Fox. He loved this part, <laughs> so do I. Dr. Albert Fox. Dr. Albert Fox. back frozen in fear. Now, you know, every time I go home to visit my parents, they ask me the same question. They go, Trey, how did you spend five years in college and get a job on a boat going in circles? Well, it's pretty plain to see. Yeah, it was kind of a crash course. Uh, nowadays, I am waiting for it. It's a beautiful, wonderful, awe-inspiring, life-changing, astounding, outstanding, world-around, even wonderful world. It is the 
Whoa, the backside of water. I like it that we are now in Southeast Asia on the Bay Cone River. Um, and I'm going to be honest, I've never seen this temple before. Um, we're going to have to go inside though, because I did miss the day of training when we learned to turn the boats around. But I'm afraid of the dark. I'm gonna close my eyes. You guys keep your eyes open. Tell me what you see and tell me when we see an exit, okay? presidents before and I just did and I thought it was inter I thought it was interesting that I mean I, I, I enjoyed it but I thought it was interesting that they had a security guard <laughs> for the side of the room like do things really get that tense in there <laughs> I don't know I mean there are I mean you've heard of Florida man and this is Florida so hi down there do, do, do. apparently a bunch of people made wishes Hey, that's going to be hard to clean up. All right, we got to remember to wave at the operator before we leave. <laughs> Kelsey's in control of the boat. <laughs> We're sailing our ship. <laughs> Kicks me away. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm having a doing? great day. Good. How are you, Kelsey? <laughs> Bye bye. Touch for good luck. Hello, Pinocchio people. <laughs> World small, world small. World small. <laughs>
fast pass for the barnstormer and that did not work out because as usual out. the barnstormer is not working yeah. so <laughs> so now <Hello>! apparently <laughs> Hello! <laughs> We're skipping. <laughs> so now Ooh. apparently they gave us as one of the... The only thing you can't get as a, uh, as a second option seven is the dwarves. Seven Dwarves Mine Train, which we weren't planning on really doing that anyway. We could do so, anything else. Yeah, so, but we can do anything else and we're choosing to do Space Mountain since we that is... We were choosing between Splash and Space Mountain. Yeah. yeah. We already have a fast pass for Splash for another day. So since that's one of, Kel since that's one of Kelsey's favorites, then we're going we're gonna to do that. And of course it's one of my favorites too. Hello! <laughs> and now, for another change of plans. The fast pass line for Space Mountain was insane. Like we wouldn't even get out of here until after the fireworks, which a lot of the reason we came in was to leave before the fireworks are over but still get some rides in to beat, you know, when we're gonna beat the crowds, but the line was so long. So now uh, Clay and Kelsey are still waiting in line for, um, for Space Mountain. We're just gonna go get some Dole Whips and um, <laughs> Dole Whip, <laughs> and then probably just leave right from there, and we can still beat the traffic out. So, you know, kind of a kind of a win-win for for you know both parties. They get to go on Space Mountain. They don't care as much about the traffic, um, and we we get dessert, which we wanted anyway, and we get to beat the traffic. So it works out. As you can see, we got our Dole Whips, and now it's time to make a mad dash for the park exit. 57. Everybody else is lining up to watch the fireworks, but uh, you know, we're just uh, getting, you know, we got some dole whips and we're getting the heck out of here. <laughs> See that crowd? Yeah, we have no particular uh, need to fight it. <laughs> Brand new monorail. <laughs> See, they've got. These ones have got like braces. They even have on the walls like there's monorail silver. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, you can still sort of see them over there. <laughs> Thank you.